This is Diana. Diana, this is Moises from Tweetum. I guess we have an interview to do now. Yeah. Yes, we do. Um, thank you for the call, and thank you for doing the interview with uh, me with Metal Life. We really appreciate it. Oh, you really appreciate it, too. Thank you so much. Yes. Well, we'll just get started. Um, you know, tell us about the new album. Yeah, the new album is our, the album number eight in our career. It's, uh, we record in U.S., produced by Eric Return. I guess everyone knows about that. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, we are really happy with, with the with the results, you know, I guess that the record came out really good. We are getting really good uh, feel so far, you know, and I guess we our music changed a little bit, but it still have the same, you know, the same uh, characteristics that we always have. It's brutal, it's fast, but have a lot of grooves and more like a mid-tempo type of songs. And we are ha- we're happy with the, the heavy production too. So so far so good for us. Awesome. Where was it recorded at? I was recorded in Florida in the, at Mena Studios, uh, which belongs to Eric Rutten, and he was the producer too. And we recorded there. Okay. And with the upcoming tour. Um, where is it going to take you all over the world? Are you focusing on just one area? What's the tour going to be like for you? Yeah, we are going to start like we already like doing some shows here in Brazil, playing some new songs. But then in August we are do, going to do like a European tour. It's going to be mostly uh, like festivals, like open air summer festivals. Mm-hmm. And after that, then we go to U.S., uh, I mean, like, North America, Canada, and USA, to tour with Oregon and, and Eon and the other bands we have in this uh, the Devastation of the Nation tour. And after that, we're going to keep, like, booking shows, you know, everywhere, as much as possible. And we're going to th- th- try to, like, uh, spread our music everywhere and go places we've never been before. So it's just the, the beginning of a, a long, a long run <laughs> for for this episode. Very cool. Well, what are some bands that you would like to tour with that you haven't been able to tour with yet? Uh, I'm up, I guess. Let me see. We tour with like a lot of bands that I like. But I guess nowadays, I think maybe Venom, Slayer. Motorhead would be a dream to do with those bands because we are big fans of them and we never had the opportunity to do with them. So I guess it would be uh, Slayer, Venom, or Motorhead. Awesome. Well, for any of our fans that aren't familiar with your band, can you give me a uh, like a brief history of the band? Yeah. Uh, our band started in 1992 in Brazil. We have like eight albums. Uh, we are signed to Century Media Records since uh, 2000. Uh, we we toured all over the world already. We've been playing like doing like, a lot of tours in U.S., Canada, Europe, South America. You we went to Asia, to Australia, New Zealand, uh, to Dubai, to a lot of places. Uh, we play really like brutal old school death metal, and it's hard to, to explain. You know, like it's more like uh, people have to listen to to really got to know what we are uh, about. You know, but it's mm-hmm. so like that. We are old. I guess we are old school death metal band, but we we play like we try to have our own music. You know, we are not so into like following trends or following what the other bands are doing. We always try to do like our own stuff, you know, and people in here, our music, they realize it's, it's, it's us, it's cool it's not a generic band that's trying to sound like famous bands or whatever, you know, so I guess we, we build up our own brand mark as a band, we've been there, out there for so many years, we're still strong, we're still excited to play, you know, to do tours, 
in this new record is, is a proof market like the almost 25 years of band that is constantly touring relentlessly and 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 I guess it's it's that you know like we are a, a death metal band that is still like eager to to go and play shows and spread the, the brutal music everywhere. Right. Who would you say have been the band's biggest influences as far as other bands or other musicians go? I far to say I would say it, it, one is impossible to mention, but but I would say like maybe Rainy Blood from Slayer was the the album that most influenced myself, you know. Mm-hmm. And out of madness from Mark Diango too, so I'm not sure, you know, like who was the biggest influence. Both of records were like a huge influence on me. And there's a lot of other records that were just a big influence too, but I guess those two records, they gave us like a uh, direction to follow, you know, like uh, the type of music that we really like to play and to hear. Even though we try to do our own stuff, but those two records like have a huge influence on me and myself. You know? Right. Well, then with all of your influences, um, you know, and every place that you've played, where would you say your most passionate or, you know, excited fans are in in wherever you play? Yeah. Oh, I would say Brazil. Yeah. (laughs) Because I guess we are from here and the metal crowds here, they are like really wild passionate for the music, you know, so I would say that in Brazil they are the most passionate people for our music, even though, like, people, like, in different countries, they, they have a different way to behave, but that do not mean that they like, like, less the band or more, you know, so, but I think over here they still, like, do a lot of mosh pits, stage dives, and I guess uh, some parts of the world is forbidden to do nowadays, you know, but still they are doing over here, so I would say that here in South America, especially Brazil, people are really passionate for the kind of music we play. All right. And, you know, I mean, obviously you guys have been touring and doing the music thing for a long time. But in your opinion, how has the music industry changed since you started the band? Yeah, nowadays there's more and more bands. And there's still the old bands is too active. Too. So nowadays there's a the metal scene is overpopulated with bands. Yeah. Uh, so nowadays it's hard for a band to make it through, you know. So nowadays it all depends on on the management. If you have a good manager, a good record label to put your music out there. Because if you stay like just on the underground, it's really hard to make it outside of your local area, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's still like if we get the internet, so nowadays people they can see like shows on the internet, download records, so they don't support bands and like as much as the old crowds used to do when they go and buy records and, and they go attending the shows because there was no YouTube or other way to download like a virtual music or show. Mm-hmm. So nowadays you need to, to to fight much harder, you know, you need to tour much more, you need to like it's like a, it's a hard work nowadays. There's no room for like rock star bullshit to think that you are the shit that you are the best or whatever, you know. So, so I guess you have to be humble, down to earth, play hard, and work hard. And like, like getting back to your question, I guess what changes like that, you know, things are much harder nowadays, mm-hmm. you know, for because there's hands every day. There's a new band, a new band, new managers, new. The market is oversaturated, and the big bands that you are untouchable, they keep them there. They don't let, let the other new bands make it through, you know. So there's a man- management stuff happening too. So I uh, guess it's, it's much harder nowadays, but if you play so hard, you play because you love it, you're going to last. You know, some people that are just there for, for money or for, for fashion or chance, they, they're going to perish sooner or later, you know. Right. I yeah, I hear that out of a lot of bands. It's um it's a serious problem and uh it doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon. Yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of metal people out there. A lot of bands there's to the mark I just mean like there's uh 
there's, there's so much, it's too many stuff, you know, happening. It's like there's no more crowds in the room now. So it's like uh, you don't know what to do anymore. Like, uh, So I guess uh, like punk rock too. They need to support each other more. In metal scene, people used to be more like uh, cocky, you know, like they, the big bands, they charge a lot of money. They, 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 they like always to have huge stages. Or they never like to share anything, you know. So nowadays, metal, it's hard time even for those bands like Slayer because they are not like, they are close to the bank corrupt as far as I heard, you know. Right. Well, with they charge so much money and they're more. Sorry, Moses, are you still there? Hello? 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 Hello, can you hear me? I can, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear there, you now. Sorry. There we go. No, that's okay. Well, I have just one last question for you then. Um, where do you see the band in, say, maybe three to five years? What do you think or hope that you guys will still be doing? Yeah, I think that uh, our main, like, we aim to keep this band together and play as much as possible and to, you know, like, I don't, it's, it's hard to, to see what's going to happen in three years, you know, like, but as far as we'll be alive, we're going to be still playing, going to still trying to do a new record, and we ain't going to give up just because the market is oversaturated. And we're gonna keep doing this because we, we we are doing this over for 20 years or more, you know. And we 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 kept to be alive during all those years, you know. We've been through like a really hard time, so nowadays it's not something new for us. Things are harder, you know. The harder it is, okay, it is for us, you know. So like we are not like pretending to be methodic or Slayer. Just mm-hmm. trying to keep the, our music alive, the death metal alive, the underground, the extreme metal alive. You know? Right. Obviously, you're yeah. doing a great job. <laughs> so thanks for sticking it out. Yeah, yeah. Thank all you right. so much. Yeah, well, most, we that's um, all I got for you. I really appreciate you taking the time to give us a call. Yeah, no problem. You're welcome. All right, catch you on the road. Okay, see you. Bye-bye. Bye.